Hello. 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 Hello.
I can turn on this glass bulb uh, ion gauge. So, one, two, three, on. You can see it's basically a glass LED bulb. So, when it's turned on, I can read out the vacuum uh, directly in this display panel. So, it's very, very uh, accurate. Uh, but between these two gauges is a different readout of the vacuum level uh, because uh, this filament material in high vacuum made by tungsten it will uh, vaporize a little bit so it can cause this 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 part of the, the vacuum chamber uh, the level rising up a little bit so when the roughing pump or the turbo molecular pump get out the uh, tungsten vapor out of this bulb so it will line up these two readout uh, of the gauges so basically uh, I'm not going to use this um, Pfeiffer uh, vacuum gauge a lot because it's very complicated to use um, this gauge can read out in a uh, um, analog voltage level but if I want to get a very accurate uh, level to read out I have to use this voltage meter to measure the voltage and calculate the vacuum uh, by myself use a calculator so there's basically a lot of uh, calculations to be done to get this uh, vacuum level so it's now read by 4.8 volts so 4.8 uh, uh, sorry 4.8 volts uh, plus oh no 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 So this is basically uh, the vacuum level of the accurate uh, calculation. So it's very complicated, not uh, not uh, not uh, easy to use with this thing. Uh, you can you can see this is also the term uh, of vacuum gauge. So it's made by Angelant Technologies. It's also an ion gauge, uh, but. This is strange to use. Uh, I can't find an adapter to the vacuum flange, so I'm not going to use this. Um, but it's very cute. Uh, look at this uh, ion gauge tube. So it's very cute. Uh, this is also working well, but uh, I don't want to use it. So this is the episode of the. Uh, vacuum system of the scanning electron microscope. Okay, see you next time.